to our IC. The superhero character we're talking about today is a human torch. He has the abilities of pyrokinesis using projectiles of fire to defeat his enemies. In this video, we'll discuss the physics behind the torch's power, specifically how the torch can create fire around himself, his pyrokinesis, and if it's possible to resist the temperature he's exposed to. There's a major issue with it. The law of conservation of matter states that matter can be rearranged into different substances, as long as the amount of matter remains constant. The problem is that matter comes in the forms of atoms and molecules that have different properties depending on how many protons, neutrons, and electrons exist in them. Were any of the air molecules and other forms of matter around the human source to change, each molecule or atom has to be rearranged into a substance that can ignite through oxidation individually. Because atoms and molecules are microscopic, physically doing this was simply impossible. The human torch has an electrostatic field around him, which allows his fire to burn continually. One theory as to how the human torch stays alight is that it starts the fire without an initial heat source and carries out the first part of the chain reaction by breaking down a combustible material and combining it with oxygen. We notice that the human torch becomes alight when he says, flame on, with nothing but his skin and no materials around it to cause this generation of fire. One theory is that the electrostatic field uses the human torch's body fluids in the form of sweat to stay on fire by breaking it into hydrogen and oxygen. Then the hydrogen burns, forming water again that can be converted into fire again by the field in a continuous loop. The human torch is said to have the ability to surround himself in flames, unharmed by the fire and heat that surrounds him. In real life, this is not the case. When enveloping his body in flames, the human torch is covered in fire that is approximately 780 degrees Fahrenheit, or 416 degrees Celsius, an inch away from his body. As the temperature of the flames around the human torch increases, the energy in the air particles around him will increase as well. This energy in the particles of the air within the fire around the torch will transfer its energy into the torch's body, increasing its average temperature. The fire surrounding the human torch would also produce electromagnetic waves, increasing the temperature of the human torch's body through radiation. Human skin begins to feel pain when it reaches a temperature of 44 degrees Celsius and is instantly destroyed once it hits a temperature of 72 degrees Celsius. With the intense flames of such high temperature being so close to him, the human torch's exposed skin would be burned off within seconds. Pyrokinesis is the ability to create and control fire. However, it has never been scientifically explained. Most instances of pyrokinesis have been the result of an electromagnetic device designed to release compounds that ignite upon contact with oxygen. A natural way for a person to generate heat to create fire would be through friction. By rubbing two surfaces together, one can convert kinetic energy into thermal energy, as the resistance of movement between two materials rubbed together does this. However, a person could not create nearly enough friction, as human skin does not conduct heat well. The other part of pyrokinesis is the ability to control fire. Because fire has no defined shape or size, it can't exactly be controlled. The only way one can make it appear as though they are controlling fire is in the form of a ball or stream. To do so, a person would either need to produce materials that ignite upon contact with oxygen that they could hold, such as manure, which contains methane gas, and ignite them, or use some kind of flamethrower. A flamethrower operates by propelling propane gas through a barrel into a piezo ignition system, which is a small flame at the end of the barrel, which, for, which the flamethrower pushes propane gas through. Uh, the reason that we can't do this is because we have neither the piezo ignition system to start the flame or the propane to fuel the flame. Therefore, pyrokinesis is impossible to do without the use of the so object. Thank you for watching this video. Yeah, and I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Everyone wave, yeah. Hey. Yeah.